One day, Diesel was soaking. The trucks were happily singing a song about him as, as he was shunting them all along. Then he was horrified. Shut up, he said and bumped them hard. I'm sorry that I was playing tricks on you, Diesel, replied Danny to, to Diesel. Diesel was cross. It's all your fault, Danny, he, he snapped. You should have listened. But why should I listen to? To me, for you, I've not been listening to in far directions and follow the trucks. This made Danny feel very cross as he puffed off. Diesel oil. Diesel was mad at Danny. And that made the three engines very cross. Later that day, Diesel came into the yard and stopped and whispered to the troublesome trucks. Now if, now if Nelson's gone, he boasted, I laughed and laughed, and then I shall I will be happy when that when Danny's gone. I'll whisper. Don't tell Gordon I told him. He, he whispered and he sniggered away. Ho ho ho! Giggled the trucks. They thought their plan was having lots of fun. Every time when Gordon, Henry, and James puffed past, the trucks just laughed at them. That afternoon, the three engines were getting faster still. Disgraceful, sputtered Gordon. Disgusting, puffed James. Despicable, finished Henry. Now what will we do it? We'll whisper to Danny, said James. And now he would be might cause trouble for us. What happened if he, bo bo if he boasted to us? That's a good idea, said Henry. Let's play a trick on him. So the Gordon, you're right about that, Henry," he said. And the three big engines laughed and chuckled. Meanwhile, Danny puffed Sally, Sally on his way all the way to the shunting yards. He felt terrible before he had done. And now he was getting really tired. Oh, he yawned. I can't wait to go back to the I can't wait to go back to the sheds. And so does his driver. Once he had finished all the job, he he took his empty trucks to the to the shun, to the shunting yards. And his driver uncoupled the trucks, and then he rushed away back back to the shed. When he arrived to the sheds, he could he could see the big engines was there. Weesh! They said, blowing steam right on him. What's the deal, of this? Stop it, huffed Danny. I'm tired. Yes, you were, said James. We don't like you here. We like Diesel. Yeah, in insisted Henry. Now you are so rude and stre meanest streamlined engine on this railway, and we don't like you here anymore. And you are being lazy, snorted James. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Just then, the fat controller came up to stop the noise. Enough! He shouted. Now, Gordon, James, and Henry, I need you to send trucks and take them and take them to the harbor. Gordon, James, and Henry groaned. Oh dear! They moaned, and as they puffed away out of their sheds. Then, Devious Diesel rolled out of the shed to talk to Danny. Danny, he, he, he said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I bossed you. 
It's okay, Diesel, replied Danny. Sometimes happen and makes the argument about what John be late for. Diesel was Diesel was still growling at Danny. Grrr, he growled. He he said quietly, "I bet I gotta go now." And he and he oiled away. Now, Danny said the fat controller, "Since you've done a good job, I've decided that you have to sleep on sleep onto your sheds." Yes, sir," said Danny, and then he started turning around the turntable. And puff straight to the sheds. Feeling tired. Later that night, when engines went to sleep, Danny, Danny had just woke up, ready for his work. And as for you, Dwee, he boasted, now I shall get my own job, and and back here before the sun rose. James angrily his steam. As Danny's wheels start to move and chuffed away, do 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 do.